after that night, did Lauren ever speak about the accident? Sometimes. Could you tell us what she said? It's, um, it's hard to remember exactly. How did Lauren appear to you in herself? She was sad. You know, because she's a sensitive girl, really. She was upset, she was crying. Did she tell you why? There was a huge weight on her mind. I mean, she's a lovely, kind girl. You know, she wouldn't let her fly. She Mrs. Wouldn't. Browning, just answer the question. Did you give a false statement to the police to protect your daughter? Yeah, yeah but... I... Why? Why did you lie to the police, Mrs. Branning? Well, because... Lauren was... she was confused, she was distraught, right? And I didn't know what to do, I didn't... Well, can you tell us what she said? Well, the thing is, she didn't mean to do we it. We need you know? to hear Lauren's exact words as detailed in your statement, Mrs. Branning. It was a mistake, all right? Because she's, she's only a kid. She's... Mrs. Branning, I won't tell you again. Please, just answer the question. She said I tried to kill my dad. Can you describe your relationship to the court that you had with Stacy? Yeah, we got on all right. Did you have an intimate relationship? Sorry, I don't Stacey. see the point. Answer the question, Mr. Branning. Yeah, uh, yeah, we had an affair. Did Lauren find out? Yeah. And how did she react? Well, she was upset. Of course, she was. Did she tell anyone about this? Sorry. I, I, it's just I thought I was there to talk about the accident. Mr. Branning, you've been warned before. She, uh, she told the whole family. And how did they react? Well, over the moon, as you can imagine. Yeah, best Christmas ever. How do you think it um, ended my marriage? Lauren's actions at this time ended your marriage, and yet you managed to maintain a good relationship with her. Is this correct? Okay, I, I, I admit I was the villain of the piece. Caused a load of heartbreak, especially to Lauren. I put her in a very fragile frame of mind. Can you explain to the court what you mean by fragile? She'd been pushed to the limit. What I did made her hate me. Mr. Branning, are you saying that on the night in question you believed your daughter hated you? No, sorry, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying at all. Could, can you just slow down, right? Because I can see exactly what you're trying to do here. Just answer the question, please, Mr. Branning. Look, all you need to know is whatever happened, it's all down to me. I'm the one who had the affairs. Lauren, she ain't to blame for any of it. Just the facts, please, yeah, Mr. Yeah, but the Branning. facts, they don't tell the old story, do they? They get twisted. I just want the court to see what I... A wonderful, special girl she really is, you know, so you can all make a proper judgment. Mr. Browning, you're here to answer the questions put to you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's a joke, isn't it? I mean, what's the point? Because you lot, you've already made your minds up, haven't you? Mr. Browning, I've warned you several times. So this is justice, is it? A load of overpaid snobs in wigs deciding my little girl's future. Mr. Browning. Frightening the girl after death by putting her in the dock. Mr. What are you going to do? You're going to bang her up with a load of knife wielding drug addicts? She only wants to come home to her family where she belongs. She's only 15. Mr. Browning. <laughs> 